Welcome to Phil Stocks Guru Season 2, where we upgrade our trades with knowledge. So hello mga ka Phil Stocks, kamusta po tayo dyan? Uh, first and foremost, thank you very much for uh, supporting us. Uh, maraming salamat. Uh, we could have never done this without you guys. Okay. And uh, we took quite a break uh, and uh, namiss ko kayo. Aww. Anyways, so far the month of September has been very challenging for the market. So update ko lang. As of September 20, 2019, uh, down yung market natin by 1.36% month to date. Medyo cloudy man yung market natin ngayon, but nevertheless, meron pa rin tayong mga opportunities. And with that, I'm recommending a trade for Nickel Asia Corporation. The Nickel Asia Corporation, or commonly known as Nickel, ay isa sa mga pinakamalaking producers ng nickel ore sa buong mundo. They have mining sites in Rio Tuba, sa Taganito, sa Cagdianao, sa Hinatuan, and sa Dinapige, kung saan they source the ores that is exported to Japan and to China. Now, itong mga ores na ito ay ginagamit sa pagproduce ng mga ferro-nickel at ng nickel pig iron, which in turn ay ginagamit sa pagproduce ng mga stainless steel. Pwede rin itong i-process into intermediate products which in turn can be used for refined metals and batteries for electronic vehicles. Si Nickel ay nagtitrade at a price-to-earnings ratio of 28.72 times. Now, this is higher compared to its 5-year PE ratio average of 19.09 times. In terms of price-to-book ratio, ang nagtitrade si Nickel at uh, 2.01 times which is lower compared to its 5-year price-to-book ratio average of 2.23 times. In a bit of a good news, para sa mga matagal na may hawak ng shares ni Nickel at sa mga naghahanap ng short-term trading opportunities, yung share price ni Nickel tumaas by 79% in just 3 days. And this is from uh, this is uh, from 2.74 pesos to 4.90 pesos noong August. Ito ay matapos lumabas yung balita na ibaban na ni Indonesia yung kanyang nickel exports starting next year. Now, bago itong galaw na ito ni nickel, uh, up na rin siya by 24.5% year to date to August. And this is not bad considering yung challenges na kinakaharap ng ating uh, mining sector in general. Yung uh, regulatory, as well as yung global demand. Ngayon, its 14-day relative strength index is coming off that 70 overbought line, indicating a loss of momentum. Now, in situations like these, we exercise a bit of patience. Two things that could signal a buy. First, if yung RSI 14 niya ay nag-recover na ng momentum on the upside. Especially if this bounces back from that support line which you will see on your screen. Or, uh, pangalawa is if it drops toward the uh, 30 oversold line, lalo na if the price retreats to the 4.15 to 4.25 support range. A word of caution, if the 4.15 to 4.25 peso support range fails to hold, Hintayin muna natin na bumaba yung share price niya to its next support level which is 3.30 to 3.40 pesos. At the same time, always remember to set a cut loss point of at least 5% below the buying price. Now, one more point to suggest a buy na golden cross na yung 50-day moving average at 200-day moving average na nickel noong September 2, 2019. So, ayan po mga ka stocks, let's trade nickel. I hope you learned and I hope you'll earn. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. This is Teacher Japet, class dismissed.